Chapter 2 talking about financial statement, cash flow, and taxes. The topics in this chapter include income statement, balance sheet, statement of cash flows, free cash flow, performance measures, corporate taxes, and personal taxes. The income statement is a major statement of a company that shows the company's profit and losses over a particular period of time. The balance sheet is a statement of a company shows the company's total asset, total liability, and owner's equity at a particular point of time. So the total asset include current asset and fixed asset. The current asset include cash, short-term investment, account receivable, and inventories. The liabilities and equities should be always equal to the total asset. The liability include current liability and a long-term liability. The current liability includes accounts payable, notes payable, and accruals. The owner's equity include common stock and returned earnings. Another major uh, statement is the statement of cash flows. The statement of cash flow include operating activities, investing activities, and financial activities. We can sum all those three different activities and to add to the cash at the beginning of the year and to get to the cash at the end of the year. What is free cash flow? Why is it important? Free cash flow is the amount of cash available from operations for distribution to all investors, including stockholders, and debt holders after making the necessary investment to support operations. The company's value depends on the amount of free cash flow it can generate. What are the five uses of free cash flow? One, pay interest on debt. Two, pay back principal on debt. Three, Pay dividend. Four, buy back stock. Five, buy non operating asset. For example, marketable securities, investment in other companies, etc. Corporate taxes and the 2017 Tax Card and Job Act. This act is the first major rewrite since 1986 Tax Reform Act. Corporate tax code permanent until Congress passes a new law. 21% flat rate on taxable income replaced the progressive tax rate and replaced 35% top marginal rate. Cumulative prior operating losses. The capital losses can carry forward, apply to cumulative past operating losses, and carry forward to offsite future taxable income and taxes, and carry forward indefinitely. Prior to the Tax Court Job Act, it was 20 years. The capital losses also can carry back 
prior to that, it's not allowed. And now it can carry back two years. Received a tax refund from previous paid taxes. Dividends paid and interest expenses. Dividend payment to shareholders not deductible as expenses. Interest expenses can deduct interest expenses if below limit 30% EBITDA for 2019, 2020, and 2021, and 30% of EBIT thereafter. Corporate capital gain and losses. Capital gains arise when a company sells an asset for more than it paid for the asset. Capital losses are the opposite. The company sells the asset for less than it paid. Capital gains and losses are treated like other income and losses. Personal taxes and the 2017 Tax Code and Job Act. Key features, individuals face progressive tax rate, seven brackets and change. Bracket thresholds have been increased so that more income is taxed at a lower level. Tax rate from 10% to 37% instead of 10% to 39.6%. The rest were either decreased or remained the same. 